vultures. Have you ever wondered about vultures? How do they eat all that rancid meat and not get sick? Do vultures ever eat any fresh meat? Do vultures really circle around dying animals? What is the difference between a buzzard and a vulture? Welcome to Ladder Cat Productions, the place for health, science, and fun. Many people do not know much about vultures. They may think they are ugly or disgusting. The fact that they often stay in groups may add to many common myths that exist. A group of perched vultures is called a wake. A wake of vultures does not circle around dying prey. This is a myth. They must carry disease because they eat all that rancid meat is another myth. Just to be clear, is there a difference between buzzards and vultures? In the United States, a buzzard is a term to denote a turkey vulture, a member of the New World vultures. Buzzards have red heads and can be found in North, Central, and South America. Elsewhere in the world, a buzzard is in the same family as Old World vultures, Accipitridae, in the Buteo genus. Old World vultures reside in Africa, Asia, and Europe. In North America, the Buteo genus refers to hawks or buzzard hawks. Do vultures eat fresh meat? Yes. They will only eat fresh meat from a prey who is weak or injured. Black vultures are the vulture type that can be aggressive enough to go after fresh meat. This is more common if food is scarce and there are no dead animals around. How do vultures eat all that rancid meat and not get sick? Now that's the question that drew me to make a video about this fascinating bird. The world actually owes a great deal to this bird for its usefulness of ridding disease-carrying dead animals from our presence. There are 23 vulture species in the world and at least one type of vulture is found on every continent except Australia and Antarctica. I feel bad for these continents that don't have vultures to assist with the dirty work of breaking down dead animals. Vultures are able to live in many different habitats. They are highly adaptable, yet there are 14 vulture species that are considered either threatened or endangered. It is illegal to kill vultures. The world needs vultures, so keep watching this video and you will soon learn why. Why are vultures so special, you ask? Can't other animals do what they do? Actually, no. If other animals ate rancid meat, they would get sick and die. Vultures can handle rancid meat because they have highly acidic stomachs. This helps them to digest bone and kill diseases. What are particularly tasty parts of a dead animal to a vulture? Vultures like to peck at an animal's soft spots like the anus. Gross, you say. They must not have a very developed sense of smell and taste then. Actually, most birds do lack a sense of smell, but vultures can sniff out a dead animal from more than a mile away. Because of this, vultures often have large territories and spend a lot of time soaring looking for their next meal. Vulture poop is highly acidic, and they release waste, which is white and fluid, onto their legs, which disinfects them from harmful bacteria. This is how they can walk all around a decaying, rotting animal and not die from disease. Vultures have relatively bare heads and necks, so when they feed on rotting carcasses, bacteria and other parasites can burrow in to thick feathers to cause infection. Vultures are able to regurgitate corrosive vomit that can even dissolve metal. They can also pee on their legs to cool off in hot weather. This process, called urohydrosis, helps kill bacteria and parasites they've picked up from walking or perching on a dead animal. 
Is a vulture a bird one could eat? No. Even other animals don't eat dead vultures with the exception of great horned owls, red-tailed hawks, golden and bald eagles. Vultures, like most birds, have keen eyesight. Are vultures noisy birds? New World vultures lack a syrinx and are nearly silent. Maybe this is why vultures, to some, can be scary because of their near wordless entree. Vultures are relatively social animals that feed, fly, and roost in large flocks. A group of vultures feeding together at a carcass is called a wake. A group of vultures in other instances is called a volt, committee, or venue. In flight, a flock of vultures is called a kettle. Can vultures sense when an animal is dying? No, they do not have this ability. Vultures are carnivorous and eat carrion almost exclusively. This means they are meat eaters and carrion is a dead, decaying flesh of an animal. The word carrion comes from the Latin caro, meaning meat. Vultures aren't perfect though. They have weak legs and feet. Their talons are blunt. They do have powerful bills. Many carcasses are too stiff for them to rip open. In this case, they usually wait for another predator to open the flesh before they feed. This is why vultures are often seen with other carrion-eating animals such as coyotes, eagles, and hyenas. Vultures' legs and feet are so weak they do not carry prey back to their chicks. Instead, they will gorge on a carcass and regurgitate food from their crop to feed their young. Vultures also can vomit as a defense mechanism if threatened. Vomiting also lightens their weight for quick takeoff. Vultures have threats to their population. They can get poisoned from toxins or lead in the carcasses they eat. They often get hit by cars or are electrocuted from colliding into power lines. There is recent scientific thought to use vultures in forensics to help find dead bodies. The longer a body decomposes, the harder it is to gather clues as to identity and in murder scenarios to gather evidence. Did you know there is a holiday that celebrates vultures? No, it is not Halloween. It is International Vulture Awareness Day. This holiday is the first Saturday that occurs in September. How many birds have their own holidays? Are vultures dangerous? Will they attack? They are not known to attack humans and their physical attributes don't pose much of a threat. Vultures are harmless. There is no reason to be frightened by them. Another interesting fact is what vultures mean spiritually. The vulture represents birth and death, new beginnings. This is an effective and positive animal totem. Vultures represent energy all year round. The vulture is viewed this way because they usually eat dead animals and do not kill themselves. With all that you've learned about vultures today, do you now have newfound respect for this remarkable bird? Think how this bird helps our ecosystem. Vultures are nature's garbage cans, and in my book, these birds are heroes. Hope you enjoyed and learned from this video. See you soon!